Hello, welcome to the course of Computer Network. So today we are going to discuss about multiplexing and demultiplexing. So in this, we will discuss about what is multiplexing and demultiplexing, then the type of multiplexing that is analog multiplexing and digital multiplexing. Starting with the very first, let's discuss about what is multiplexing and demultiplexing. So here the multiplexing is the process of combining multiple signals into one signal over a shared medium. Here the device used for multiplexing is also known as MUX and multiplexing was first developed in telephony. Here a number of signals were combined to send through a single cable. And demultiplexing is the extraction of your original channel on the receiver side or the extraction or, or the separation of the combined signal at the demultiplexer or the receiver side. The device used for demultiplexing is also known as DMUX. So this diagram is showing how MUX and DMUX works. Here the multiple number of signals like S1, S2, S3 to S7 are transmitted to the MUX or the multiplexer. This multiplexer combines this signal into one and it is known as output or transmitted over this physical transmission channel and it acts as an input to the DMUX. Here the DMUX will separate this all signal that is S1 to S7. So in this way the MUX and DMUX work. The type of multiplexers are analog multiplexer that combines the analog signal and the digital multiplexers that combine the digital signal. So the analog multiplexers are FDM and WDM. FDM is frequency division multiplexing and WDM is a wave division multiplexing. Digital multiplexers are time division multiplexing and code division multiplexing. So starting with the very first discussing about the frequency division multiplexing. Here the many signals are combined together and sends on a single communication channel at the same time. It, it based upon sharing the available bandwidth of communication channel and in this each signal is assigned with different frequency. It means here the signal, uh, signal have the different frequencies and these different frequency signals are transmitted on a shared medium at the same time. As they have different frequencies they, they don't interfere with each other. Here the frequency gap is there between two adjacent channel to avoid signal overlapping and guard band is used to avoid interference between two channels. So this method is a very oldest multiplexing technique and here it is used in radio and television transmission, cable TV, EMPS cellular phone system. Here the analog signals are used to do it because they are more susceptible to noise so this is this frequency division multiplexing is more susceptible to the noise next is wave division multiplexing here it is a technology of modulating many optical carrier signal of varying wavelength or different color of laser light onto a single optical fiber here it enable bidirectional communication as well as multiplication of the signal capacity WDM system handle 160 signal at a time and these signals expand from 10 Gbps system with a single fiber optic pair of conductor to more than 1.6 terabit per second. So this, uh, this means here in wave division multiplexing the, diff, the wavelength the optical carrier signal of different wavelength are combined together to send on a single optical fiber. Next is the wave division multiplexings are further divided into two categories according to wavelength that is coarse WDM and dense WDM. Here the coarse uh, uh, wave division multiplexing is a method of combining multiple signal on a laser beam at various wavelengths for transmitting along the fiber optic cable. Here the number of channel is fewer than in dense wavelength uh, uh, division multiplexing. Here in dense wa uh, WDM that is dense wavelength division multiplexing it is an optical multiplexing technology that is used to increase bandwidth over existing fiber network and here it combine and transmit the multiple signal simultaneously at different wavelength on a same fiber here the wdm is similar to fdm but radio frequencies is used in fdm and in wdm higher portion of the electromagnetic spectrum is used that is infrared Next is the time division multiplex that is of the digital multiplexer. So here 
It is a method of combining multiple data streams in a single channel by separating the signal into many segments. And each signal have a every, very short duration. It means now the signal will have the same frequency, but now they are transmitted at different time to a different user. Now they are divided on the time basis that is time division multiplexing. In frequency division multiplexing, these signals have their own frequencies and they are simultaneously transmitting on a shared medium. Here the TDM is further of two types, synchronous time division multiplexing and asynchronous time division multiplexing. Here the synchronous TDM is the original time division multiplexing. Here the multiplexer gets input from the attached device in a round robin method and transmit the data in a never ending circle pattern. Here round robin method is one of the algorithm employed by process and network scheduler in computing. Here the time slice or the time count are assigned to each process in equal portion and in circular order and handles the all process processes without priority. Here T1 and ISDN telephone lines are common example of synchronous time division multiplexing. T1 multiplexer combine the continuous series of frame of both digitized data and voice channel and it sends it at the speed of 1.54 Mbps. ISDN multiplexer also combine continuous stream of frame and thus each frame contain additional control and synchronization information. Next is that statistical TDM or the asynchronous TDM here is uh, asynchronous multiplexer transmit data only from the active workstation here if the workstation is not active then no space is wasted on the multiplex stream for it and here the this multiplexer accepts the incoming data stream and creates a frame containing only the data to be transmitted here it is used for low bandwidth line and it is much more efficient it provide the much more efficient use of the bandwidth Next is CDM that is the core division multiplexing here it is a networking technique in which multiple data signals are combined and simultaneously transmit over a common frequency band. Here what happen like in FDMA we are dividing the signal on the basis of frequency and in uh, time division we are transmitting the signal on the basis of time but in CDMA the signal will have the same frequency and they are transmitted at the same time but what happen here the signal will have the different codes. So the CDMA use spread spectrum technique here the pseudo random spreading code is used to multiplex the data signal. Multiplexing with the spreading code increase the requirement for bandwidth. So this this technique required the high bandwidth. This technology was developed in World War II to prevent the enemy from intercepting and jamming transmission. So this is very good technology for the purpose of security. Here in spread spectrum a data signal is sent over a range of frequency in an assigned frequency spectrum. So the receiving device is aware of the spread uh, here in this technique what happened the receiving device is aware of the spreading code and it use it to demultiplex the signal. So it means the CDMA is used in 2G and 3G cellular network. So the code which is used by the transmitter to, uh, uh, to make the CDMA process then it is sent to the rece receiver will also know the same code to decrypt the signal. So this is the process of CD, uh, CDM that is code division multiplexing. So this is all about multiplexing and demultiplexing. Thank you.